Hey all, Hipper here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sea of Conquest and of course Season 4. So uh, if you watched my uh, earlier Season 4 video, you'll probably notice that I said, oh, I'm probably not going to get Obi because I don't have much use for him. But then I was just randomly, you know, using a conch and uh, I just happened to get him and pull three. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, again, it's seemingly the heroes seem to be much easier to get than the trinkets uh, in these banners here, but whatever. Anyway, I now have Obi and uh, as I said, I don't really have much use for him and uh, I'll tell you why, because uh, if we go in here, look at my heroes, there he is. So he's a rank two and uh, I'm just going to uh, to level him up to maximum really, uh, first of all, because I think perhaps later on I might actually use him. But uh, for now, uh, I don't have much use for a defensive taunting uh, hero. He does have a pretty interesting thunderous punch um, skill here that uh, you can use when uh, you're actually doing the close combat. Because as you can see here, it uh, forces the enemies to uh, attack him for the follow for two turns, right? So uh, there's a nice strategic, um, you know, use of him here potentially. Um, I'm not really sure if it's, you know, if it makes sense giving up a damage dealer for this guy to take a few punches, but mm, I guess I'll try him out for a few times and see how he works. And then, like I said, because I have so much XP saved up from Season 3, I'm going to level him to uh, level 101, uh, just to have him ready for, I suppose, next season, uh, or when I get to level 40, whenever that'll be, so I get another ship. Because I think I will need another ship to uh, actually use this guy here. But uh, we'll see how we go. So anyway, he's leveled up now and we're just gonna uh, bring his skills up a little bit as well. But uh, we're going to stop there. So uh, like I said, at the moment I'm not really gonna use him because he's first mate and I don't wanna get rid of Cordelia. I need her healing. And uh, obviously I don't wanna get rid of Tanaka because he's really powerful and uh, he's kind of the heart of my build there. Onimusha, nope, I will keep him as well, Cutthroat Hero, Boa, rank 6 Boa, no way I'm giving her up either, so uh, <laughs> it kind of limits his use, right? Rank 5 Shaki, no, I'm not going to do that either. So uh, I really have no spot for this guy, so uh, unless uh, I get another ship, which won't happen until level 40, which could be, I, I don't know, like seasons away really, uh, I'm not really going to use him. So that's why I didn't really, you know, went all in trying to get this guy and I just got him by chance, really. Uh, kind of silly, really. Now, it does have some positive sides to getting him because uh, recruiting a new Season 4 hero uh, helps you in uh, the event for the season. Not a lot, but it does help. And, you know, uh, you will get the other hero, like Chishuro. You will get her if you do the saga at some point anyway. So uh, that way you'll get 50 points there pretty easily. Uh, but other than that, yeah, this, well, his use is fairly limited. Plus, if you get uh, Obi, don't forget to go into the Blazing Fisticuffs event and uh, grab the conks in here and uh, the goodies you can get for leveling him. That's the main, main reason I actually leveled him. Um, so uh, that's it. I've got Obi now and I have no use for him and uh, I can't really see any use for him in the future so we'll see how the season goes and maybe in season five perhaps we can find some use for him on a new ship but until then uh, i think he's just gonna sit there and do nothing <laughs> so uh hope you enjoyed the video guys and i uh, hope you're enjoying season four and i'll see you out there